Top of the morning to you, smart sort. Tonight, you better get your thinking caps on, because we're going to talk about some history. Well, smart sort, we're going to be talking about colonial America, and to get into the groove, we're going to listen to their tunes. Oh, yes. Somebody tell Ibrahim, play this at our next party. Oh, yes. Listen up, small chalt, because I'm going to tell you the story of Miles Standish, edited by James. So there is a girl I met tonight that made me think she looks exactly like Miles Standish, and that's why we're talking about Miles today. Okay, no bullcrap, she looks exactly like that. Exactly. Exactly like that. She looks just like that, Miles Standish. Alright, so Miles Standish was born in England, and then he came over to form the Plymouth Colony. When he got here, his wife Rose left him for like this really big black guy, and he's like, oh, well, dang it, gosh. Miles Standish also formed the slogan, if you don't work, you don't eat. So he was the governor of Plymouth, and then they noticed the Indians put a hex on them, so they turned to Miles. Since Miles Standish had the only ancestors that went back to Druidism, they had Miles Standish try to lift the curse. So Miles Standish had to do the ritual to where he had to go out into a field for 15 days and connect with the elements. His spell would become even more powerful because 1655 was a cold year, so he got to connect with the snow element. So, Miles Standish called upon his ancestors, and his druid power arise, and he connected with the element. Because he connected with the snow element as well as everything else, the elements granted him a vision into the future of the land that he would be in. Miles Standish looked into the deep pool of magic and saw the vision churning about, and this is what he saw. He saw Callum 2016. 